Hey guys, what's going on? Skymaster Flex back with another Fight League video. And in today's video, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is abusing the burn strategy with the Swine Queen in unison with Justice Pros. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into League Play, of course. And uh, we're going to be using our Justice Pros deck with Mr. Physio as our leader. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to abuse this sort of system if you don't know how to do it already um i think it's really great right now it's it's really hot in the meta a lot of people are doing it um you just need to make sure that you have mr physio as your leader or someone else who can provide as much shield as he can uh in order for you guys to succeed with this it's gonna be really important so uh let's see how everything goes um there's a couple freelancers that i've put into the deck as well that I think will really benefit from this whole deck. So we're gonna go second and we're gonna be facing a GGG deck. Let's see how everything goes. Players, stand by. It's time to battle. And it looks like we have Swine Queen opening, which is actually really good. And we I think we're gonna open with Angry Accountant Labor Wolf. Let's see what our opponent does. Ah, uh, Totem Maiden Polaris is gonna go there. So we will open like this. Because we want to force our opponent to play a little more defensive now. So we're going to open with Swine Queen as well, and we're going to see what the dam burn damage is going to do. So as you can see, she burns the enemy leader, and the enemy leader takes 100 extra damage when she's attacked. So let's see what happens. There's the extra 100, and look at that, ladies and gentlemen. 800 damage just like that, thanks to a great opening. Now our opponent is in dire straits. He's going to be forced to play a little defensive here, and look at this. Wow, Keiko Tarola, who's going to attack the enemy leader for 200 when she enters the field. She is going to do a lot of damage. So we're forcing our opponent to play very defensive. So General Cypher is going to enter the field. Play. So what she just did is she attacked the enemy leader for 300 and then another 300 damage. Which I think is pretty amazing. Um, maybe what we'll do is... I was thinking maybe Special Ops Dexter, but the problem is, is he's not going to be able to put out damage on the leader. So that's what we want to do. We want to keep him on the defensive, so I'll put Joe out. And we're going to combo really nice here. The General Cypher will go down. We'll take the crit. And uh, that is basically, guys... A really nice preview on how you can abuse the system of the Swine Queen Metallia Burn strategy, which I think right now is very much broken. And obviously, I got really good RNG just with my rolls and uh, with my summons, so can't really complain there. We had a little bit of a remix there, <laughs> just a little bit. So he's going to buff his units. So 400, 800. It's going to be hard for him to do a lot of damage to me, but uh, we'll see how everything goes. Won't have to really worry about this one. So 300, 400, 400. He's going to get me low, but it's not going to be enough to kill me off. So I don't think she's burned anymore, but not that it really matters, because I have Parola, who's going to win me the game. Not here, 
but uh, on my next turn when she gets buffed by Miss Isle Skies. Or I can even put Angry Account in there. It doesn't really matter. And basically what you can do is if you get good RNG Jesus rolls, uh, you can basically finish your opponent off in, I think that was maybe three turns. So he's going to give me the thumbs up and uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up uh, some rank points of course. Look at there. I didn't even realize I was on a two win streak. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically how you do it. Uh, again, we'll go back to the deck really quick and I'll just show you some cool little strategies on uh, some units that you can put in. But uh, that's a really cool preview on how you can abuse the Swine Queen and Mr. Physio, of course, to get your opponent's backs against the wall or against the ropes, whatever you want to call it. Because it is Fight League, of course. And uh, yeah, so we finished up one of the requests, or we did one of the requests, which is kind of cool. And I did a PvP battle, which is awesome. Okay, let's go to the teams really quick. Alright, so. So I started with Mr. Physio, who has the 600 shield, which is really cool. Joe Demon Vigilante, always a great unit because of all of his directions he goes in. Uh, Scrapper's really good because he gives 400 shield to uh, Mr. Physio. And uh, I think when, one of my other videos that I'm going to come out with is showing how much of the maximum shield you can put up on a unit. Miss Isle of Skies is pretty good because she buffs someone and gives them 200 shield. We've seen Angry Count and Labor Wolf in action. He gets buffed by 300 if there's no other person on the field. Agent J9, always a great support unit. Uh, if you're in a pinch, increases the attack of all other members by 300. Dexter's really good because if his HP is 600 or less, he attacks one enemy member for 300 damage. This is the ultra super unit you do want to have in your deck, which is Swine Queen Metallia because she burns the enemy leader, as we saw. Keiko Tarola, you can find her in the Freelancers. She's awesome because she can attack the enemy leader for 200 damage. And if the enemy leader is burned, that is 300 damage because of the additional 100. And then she does it one more time in her regular attacks. I like this unit as well. You can. This is an optional unit. Um, it's not really that necessary. I just personally like putting it in because if an allied member enters the field and she's on the field, the enemy leader gets attacked for 100 damage, which means 200 damage just for going in there. I think it's pretty awesome. So... Um, you can definitely do that. I give uh, some special shout outs to a couple others. Let me see if I can find them here. One of the first ones I would probably give a shout out to would be Great Mosher Lappy uh, because she can do extra 200 damage to the leader. So that's uh, that's pretty important. Capiaristia Jenga is actually pretty good too because uh, his arts can chain with a lot of people so he's actually a really good shout out as well um definitely someone to keep in mind and i'm trying to think i think there's one other person who does exceptionally well and i would probably go with moi tong yum kung um just because of his directions he's pretty good and he can actually probably chain with a lot of people you just don't want to have him in your party if you have a lot of people in the corners the top right and the top left because he's not really going to be that effective, but he can be very effective in some uh, some special situations. So, anyways guys, hopefully you've taken a lot from this video, and hopefully I wish you the best of luck. Uh, you guys do really well with abusing Swine Queen, Metallia, and all that stuff. So we will see you next time guys, take care, this is Master Flex, stay in flex, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.